Minecraft 1.2.3 beta plug -in server, and in the last video I made about how to make a server, supposedly it wasn't that good, it wasn't that explanatory, I'm making a new one, hopefully this one's a lot more explanatory and it helps you a lot more, so, first off is to click the link I have in the description to download Craft Bucket, the beta for the newest Minecraft release, and you can see it right there, on download Craft Bucket, just click on that, open it up, then do save file, and it'll take a while, it's about 10 megabytes, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, there, it's almost done, be a second screen, and it's done, okay, now once it's done, just X out of the internet, and then go to your downloads, which is where it should be at, then downloads, and look for the file, crack bucket, oh, right there, yeah, so, just drag it over to your desktop, okay, then, right, right click on your desktop, and do new, and then go to folder, and this is the folder where you, this is the folder where you're making your server, so new, like, Minecraft, on um, beta, yeah, well, yeah, server, and then, just drag the craft bucket snapshot jar thing into the folder. Now do new text document and don't name anything, just do new text document and open it up. This is because, yeah, so just open it up with like notepad or whatever. And now go back to the internet and this will be in the, in the description too. First, you gotta find it. It's a code you gotta copy into it. I think it's at craftbucket dot or bucket dot org. I'm not sure. No, this isn't it. Hold on. Bucket dot org. Get craft bucket. Okay. Now, just read this for Windows and all this stuff. But, but for Windows, you wanna copy and paste the first one right here. And this is for any Java type and stuff. If you're getting error, if you get like issues and stuff, and it's not working, copy and paste the other one for Java seven. Or no, if you're if you're running Java in 32-bit mode, then download. Or if you're running Java Java in a 32-bit mode on, on a 64-bit machine, change the program files to the thing in the server to a different number, which you can just do. If you're just getting issues, just like read along that web page. But anyhow, yeah, copy and paste it and save it as server.bat. And just save it as a text document, it doesn't matter. And save it to your desktop or like anywhere else you know. Then you'll get a file on your desktop, it's called server. Then just drag it into your Minecraft folder and delete your text document. Okay, now you should have craft bucket and server.bat in your Minecraft folder. Now right click and do edit. Okay, now as you see, on this, it has that code. And then you see what it says crap bucket dot jar between the jar and dot jar. Um, I'll erase that and place in the name of the crap bucket name that you have, the snapshot file. So the beta thing, I'm just going to copy and paste the name right there. And crap bucket dash 1.2.3 dash r01. And then right here it says xmx, I think. Um, that's for the megabytes of RAM you're going to use for your server. So you can change it to whatever you want. So I did 1024. That's the default one. Okay. Once that's done, you start your server and it will take a while to load. But it will start loading. And it will start making all the files. As you can see right here, it's making all the files for it. And it will take a little bit to make the maps for the game. Now I'll come back to you whenever that's done. It's almost done. It's taking a while because I have the app crap on, so. Okay, now it's done, so just type in stop and push enter. I know the Play stop on the server. And I know you feel guilty too. Don't. I had a dream last night. You and Bob were talking before he left. And it was just X out of this. Forgot to. And, 
yeah, it's done now. So you can just push any button to continue. Okay. Now you can open up the server file. Do open and do notepad. If this is your first time, because it'll just be a blank file, so just do open with notepad. Then I'll say message of the MOTD is message of the day, and you can change it to something like Red Baron owns server, Minecraft server. And then that appears beneath the IP for the server. Then just leave like, then everything else just leaves blank. Then like level type is, no not level type, on the server port. Make sure it's the port that, on that, that your router is forwarded to. And then the level name, just keep it default for world. Or if you're like, think it's different like mine, do server map, which is what mine's name. So, so then, then, I'm, then I'm updating my old server right now, so. Here's my old server, and the map's called server map, so I'm just going to go and copy on my three maps I have, and then check out that, and then paste them in my new server folder for the 1.2.3 Minecraft update, but but then again, this is still the beta for the bucket thing, and, this is, and, you, do, and you do the exact same thing for the new one. I think whenever the new one comes out, the recommended build, it's the exact same way you do this, just down the recommended build, instead of in, instead of the beta, which I'll update my links for it. But it's taking forever because I'm using crap, so I'm just going to pause this and fast forward. Okay, there, it's done. And there's my three maps. So now I'm just gonna start my server I have. Just double click my server top map file and X out of this and start Minecraft for your server. Now the IP that like the IP that I can use to connect to your server isn't the IP4 address. It's the public IP address for your router or modem or whatever. Just it's not the 192.168.1. Like, whatever. It's like a different number that's a lot longer and different. So, just log into Minecraft and press. Probably gonna switch to Minecraft. To the Minecraft screen, which I probably will, I'm guessing. But, right now my mask getting converting. It's okay, there. Now it's done. Um like updating the map so it's update to like the new update we have for minecraft so let's go check out my server sadly i can't show you the, the thing anymore since minecraft has opened up in frass switched over to the minecraft screen but as you can see here's my ip red baron owns minecraft server which is my message which is the message of the day i put for my thing and i'll just join join it and it'll have the map i was on that i have for my server but right now i'm in a top secret base a military base so son of a biscuit <laughs> Okay, I'm dead. Well, hopefully, okay, I should go to spawn. Oh, no, no, there's no spawn anymore since the whole thing's messed up, but I'm guessing this is where the spawn's supposed to be at. I'm not in creative, so just opt myself on this. <coughs> Let's go some creative mode. Okay. There, I should be creative mode. It's supposed to be in there already. Okay, there. But anyhow, as you can see here, is my map, my server, and this is from the old one, from 1.1, but now this is updated to the 1.2.3 beta, well, not beta, but thing, but Craft Bucket has came out with the recommended build for, for this, so, at the military base, that's where I'm at in the desert, but anyhow, that's how to make a Minecraft server, and I hope this one helps a lot more, because apparently my old one didn't really help that much. It wasn't that explanatory, but hopefully this one helps you a lot more with making this, and I hope this helps. So just comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.